course, Rose of Cimarron, a Rusty Young song that uh, was the title song from 1976 album, Poco album, called, of course, when I say titled, anyway, Rose of Cimarron. Great album. The two that came out right around then, this and uh, Cantamos, uh, I just, anyway, had fabulous tunes on them. They were kind of changing their sound a little bit, become a little less country, a little more rock, and uh, a couple years later they hit it big with uh, Legend. Um, but uh, this tune, what you just heard me play there, is about as close as I can get to the, the sound we hear at the beginning of the song, which was done on a 12-string guitar, kind of finger-picked like that. But there's a little bit of an arpeggio, some motion in the bass and things like that. So um, we're going to take a look at a few different ways of playing this song in here. One will just be kind of strum the chords. It can be a campfire song. You can just do a little country strum, get through the five or six chords. There aren't even that many. We do have a couple bar chords, so you're going to have to be able to play a B flat and a G minor, and that's about it. So uh, the song had really fascinating beginnings because, you know, Poco was touring a lot back in the early 70s. And in 1973, they happened to be uh, going through Oklahoma and Rusty picked up a brochure about uh, some folks' lives in the Old West in the late 19th century and um, read up, uh, up about a, um, somebody who was fairly, fairly famous, uh, Rose Dunn who uh, was kind of um, sympathetic to some outlaws at the time, in, in particular George Newcomb and her brothers. The Dunn brothers were like part of George's gang. So she sort of was their, uh, the belle of, of the outlaw community, I guess. And um, unfortunately, eventually this didn't go well for George because her, her brothers decided to, um, to go on the other side of the law and become bounty hunters and eventually they happen to uh, kind of trick Rose. Well, anyway, I won't go too much. That's enough of the history. You can look it up and, and find out what happened to Rose. But she did live into the uh, 1950s or so. Uh, but that made an impression on Rusty, reading the, the story of, of Rose. And um, a couple of years later, a friend of his, Stuart Margolin, who was, was producing an album for Roy Rogers. Roy Rogers, of all people, was making an album back in the, in the mid-70s. And they asked Rusty to write a cowboy song for Roy. And so this is what he came up with. Well, the album, the Roy Rogers album, never quite materialized. But now they had this song, and uh, Rusty had this tune. And he wasn't uh, the most prolific composer in the band, but boy, some of the songs he wrote were just killer. And what happened here was he, uh, Paul Cotton and Timothy Schmidt said, we love that song. We got to do it. Got to make it a Poco song. So that's how it became the title song of their, uh, I guess this is probably about their ninth album or so. I didn't do the math, but it's, I think it is. There was seven, and then there was Cantamos, and then there was this, and then there was one more, Indian Summer, I think, before, before Legend. So anyway, um, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to have a lesson here on playing... <laughs> All those cool little little bass connecting notes that we hear in the uh, on the 12 string but that sound pretty close on the six so coming up a lesson on rose of cimarron <laughs> 